Okay, it's uh, six o'clock on July 10. This is the uh, meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. First item on the agenda uh, are the minutes for the Monday, June 26 meeting. We're going to table those minutes until our next meeting. Next item we have we have warrants. We have a vendor warrant for fiscal year 2017 for 158,000. $625, a vendor warrant for fiscal 2018 of $413,928. Now that includes our quarterly payment to um, Frontier for our assessment. Of, uh, so that's why that's so high, because that's a $319,000 payment. Okay, next warrant is our payroll warrant for fiscal year 2018, uh, $106,857. Uh, and we have a payroll deduction warrant for fiscal year 2018, uh, $26,724. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Second. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda is uh, meetings attended by select board members. Bob, oh, since last time. Week. Okay, since last meeting that I was at, uh, I attended the Massachusetts Rural Policy Advisory Commission meeting that was held at FERCOG. Um, the Rural Policy Advisory Commission has been formed to do a study of some of the um, challenges facing the rural towns and to report back to Secretary Ash, who is the Commissioner for Economic Development and Housing. So that's going to be a process that takes um, a year to 18 months. They're going to have mm -hmm. quarterly meetings and they're going to present a, um, a report to him at the end of that study mm -hmm. that they do. I also attended uh, the FERCOG uh, Finance Committee meeting last week uh, to do some final adjustments to their um, budget for 2000, uh, fiscal year 2018. That's the meetings I was at. Do we have any citizens' concerns? <coughs> I see citizens here. Yes. John, welcome. How you doing? Ladies. Thank you. Alice Vignani, Brenda Lilly, Tom, yep. I'm John Pitsy, we have conversing, Bob, you know yep. me, John, you know me. Yep. <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, I, I got an email from Bob Armstrong this morning, and he said he wasn't going to be able to attend. Um, so um, I'm not sure how much in the loop you guys are regarding the Comcast. I guess my, my first question would be, Regarding the um, the article in the visitor, um, the broadband committee note, um, it's kind of a, a discrepancy, I guess. Uh, the first paragraph it said, um, virtually every home will be wired, and then in the next paragraph it said every home will be wired. So I guess the first thing I would be looking for is like clarification on which is it? Is it every home or is it almost every home? Your area will be wired. Yes. That's, that's great. Not Most of that's, that's, that's not the question. Oh, we'll see. That's okay. It, so it, it appeared to listen to Bob. It was like a home where, say, they're on a very dead end street. There was no exit out the other end, and it was like a mile from the last house out to where they are, things like that. Those people are probably not going to get serviced. And how many people? There's, there's I think only, it's like there's four. Only, there's four only five. four houses that won't be wired. In county. Four houses in, Four houses houses in, houses in houses. all of Conway. Well, just all right. of Conway. Do, under, do under they it. know who they are now? I believe uh, really so. Yes, we do. Are they satisfied with that? Is who satisfied with that? The homeowners? The, the residents? <laughs> I do well, not know all the homeowners home who will be wired are satisfied with that. Right. But what, no, what, what we're asking, well, look, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not happy that my home is finally going to be wired for the first time in 12 years because my family and I have literally spent tens, tens of thousands of dollars on our own internet. I'm very happy, but at the same time, <clears throat> you know, my personal opinion is that you basically, you know, you guys contract out, you know, your agreements, negotiations, <clears throat> negotiations with Comcast. Um, so Comcast doesn't want to 
you know, why are these other four homes? Because I'm sure it's not cost efficient for them. Um, but at the same time, my opinion is that you're kind of telling those four other homes that, you know, yeah, your residents, yeah, you're paying the same tax rate as, you know, everyone else in town, but you don't matter. My opinion. I'm not saying it's fact, my opinion. Okay. We have everybody else in, in Conway covered. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is under uh, a deal that the state made with, with uh, Comcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that's, and we were, we were a pilot town along with uh, Buckland and Shelburne Falls uh, that went into this program. And I think, I think all in all, we did very well with that. Yeah, we really did a lot. Compared to the other towns, we did extremely well. Well, we aren't done yet. Um, Bob sent out an email recently crowing about how wonderful it is that nine roads in Conway have been finished with the Verizon work and now they're ready for the Comcast work. And when people emailed him to find out what about their areas, I think I was lucky to get a reply. I don't know why I got a reply, but a lot of other people emailed me in subsequent days and said, Alice, did you ever hear back from Bob Armstrong? I emailed him and I never got an answer. Everybody's wondering in Poland, on Williamsburg Road, when will Verizon come next to get our poles ready? I, if I, they're done in the Waitley Road area, where are they working this week? The, the, where the, the, are they going? They're all on Waitley Road right now. The private contractors are. They've hired private contractors to do most of the work. Okay, but and Verizon there, has to come to set poles for this. Our neighborhood, yeah. and I don't know what other neighborhoods in town are still the, waiting. The, the latest information we have is that they'll be finished by the end of this year. How recent is that information? Very recent. How recent? A couple of months. That's not I know recent. they've only got started in the last couple of weeks. And I had, they're out on, they're out on weather road. If you drive out there, I saw a truck uh, this morning working on the beginning of Cricket Hill Road. Mm -hmm. And I, the last week they're working further out by Rowan Brick Road. And what they're doing at first is they're putting a guy wire down the telephone pole that they're gonna attach to Comcast and everything to it, mm -hmm. but they got to string a guy wire first. That's what this company is putting up this guy wire. So they are in town starting to work. I, I know, but they're down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're working up your end of town yet. No, I don't. I can't answer that. Well, it seems that there. Bob should know, and if he doesn't know, it seems that he should be asking. Bob and does know. And he should be sharing information <clears throat> with the homeowners who are trying to find out from him. It does say mm -hmm. in the visitor, please email and ask any questions anytime. And mm -hmm. all of us, I got a reply, but it was also very vague. I did not get a reply. And a couple of my neighbors in Williamsburg Road also did not get a reply. I'm not, I'm not looking for you guys to speak on behalf of Bob. No. But he, you know, can, I think we, we all feel that, I think we all feel that some of the answers that we're getting are very vague. Very vague. You know, yeah, well, um, you need more substantial answers. Thing for months. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, by the end of the summer. Because we have to renew contracts with some of the people that we're using mm -hmm. to actually get minimal Wi Fi, mm -hmm. and it costs a ton of money. We only get a very little bit of megabytes, so it's not even um, a lot, but mm -hmm. it's something. It's better than dial up, which is what we've had had for many years, of course. But And there are properties that are set back quite far from the road, like mm -hmm. mine house is off the road. We have overhead wires partway up our driveway and then we go underground. And we thought that we were going to be getting connected sometime this summer or early fall and that the trenching would be no problem. But it would be nice to know if that's really going to happen or if Comcast isn't going to be ready to come to our neighborhood until deep winter next spring. It would be nice the latest information Bob has is that it be done by the end of this year. That's the latest information he has. Uh, have you heard anything different than that? No. Okay. No, we we we. Well, Tom can ask him. I mean, we certainly don't get. Uh, to tell me, people concerned, you'd like to hear back from him more than he has been. I, I think. Well, or yeah, specifically, sure. Specifically, like um, specific, yeah. But. You know, the guys we, we, don't, us. we don't have yeah. Comcast schedule. I don't think they know their specific schedule at this point. It depends on what other work they have to do around right. around think. the area. So they're they're fitting it in with all their other work. So oh, but I, don't think, I don't think I don't think come on. 
There has to be. Well, well we, the master we calendar says we don't think Conway's the center the of the universe. Don't get us wrong, Tom. But we don't. You know, we don't have the specifics of their schedule. Well, I mean, they gave us a general and, idea. And I think part of the, the reason the you may not have that information is, quite honestly, you guys on in, in contact. I mean, two months. That's not recent, John. That's right, like you know, Bob, that's a pretty Bob, decent amount. Bob is of, on top of this. Um, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Okay. okay. And and we haven't gotten any newer information than that from Comcast. Okay. So and right now they're relying on subcontractors. So hmm. and, you know, that can they can either keep you right on your schedule or can mess you up a bit. The contractors. So is Bob I, the only one that's in contact? Got, you guys are. He's a town's representative. Okay. So you guys really the only information that you are we privy to is from to, is from we, Bob. We get our information from Bob. Okay. I, I don't think Comcast is going to promise anybody anything. Mm. I, we're lucky that they said they actually said they were going to they were expecting to get it done by the end of this year. Their original schedule was sometime by the end of next year. So that's an improvement. So, on do you the guys first actually? Does the town actually have an agreement with contact uh, with Comcast that they are going no, to? No, no, no. This is this. So, is, so this, this is, is all vague. The, this is between the state and Comcast. That's the agreement. That's the contract. It's between MBI as as the state and Comcast. The town has no no formal role in this at all. So there's no written saying that they are obligated to fulfill this. No, they're, they're they're obligated to fulfill it by the end of next year. Right. Okay. Okay. And the obligation is to MBI. It's okay. to the state. Okay. The town what has no it? formal role in this at all. Okay. That's something we didn't know either. It wasn't even remotely aware of that. But Bob's role has been, nonetheless, to stay in touch with mm -hmm. Comcast. And I guess since he's not here tonight, we would convey to you that we wish he would be in contact with them more often. It feels to us as though he certainly hasn't been informing the homeowner, the unserved homeowners, regularly at all. In fact, the notices in the visitor stopped occurring until just this past month, and I wonder if it's because I suggested to him that it was maybe time to put in a notice updating people, because in my neighborhood, we're all wondering, mm -hmm. we? is it going to happen this summer? When is it going to happen? Should we renew with our satellite services, etc.? You know, they had poll work they were doing out there in your area, right? Last but that's weeks. because of the tornado. There's a well, huge... They were out there somewhere by Burnett's something, putting poles in. Oh, Burnett's. Oh, the, no, because they were Burnett's. down in Maple. Heading, heading your direction. Oh, maybe they are. But I don't know. That's what I heard a couple weeks ago. But, uh, you know, again, that's hearsay. I mean... There could be. I don't go that way too often. I, go the way I heard that from one of the thing. police officers. They're up there directing traffic for them, so. On 116 or on North Polar Road? I don't know where it was. Okay. It was up by Burnett's, they said. On 116, yeah. They were on 116. They were on North Polar Road, yeah. So Bob has uh, a contact with Comcast. Um, what about a contact with the state? I think he, he, had talk, he yeah. talks to both MBI and he talks to Comcast. Okay. The, the the agreement has been set, so the the real communication, any information we're going to get is going to come from Comcast mm -hmm. about their schedule. They haven't been forthcoming, except to say that they'd moved up their expected date of completion to this year. That's the last real information. And we're one of the very, I, and it's still just a plan. That's still just their plan. We're one of the very right. few towns that I know. Have that status right. I know. I know. <clears throat> With Comcast, because other towns are using other broadband. We're one of the very few that are going get, to get, get the put in first, mm. which I think is very tremendous for Conway. But. Mm -hmm. but you don't know if they're working within Conway consistently until they finish all of Conway. I do not know that. My guess would be. I presume no, they no, I, I think they're working in the three towns as a as a sub-region. The three towns being Waitley, Conway, and... Uh, no, Conway, no, uh, Buckland, Shelburne. Yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> we're, we're getting, we're getting um, built out to a percentage that no other town is being built out to. 
Hmm. Well, and, I mean, and that they're not obliged to provide according to the agreement they have with MBI. Right, right but these are the towns. What are the populations of them? I mean, there's only 1,900 people in Conway, and how many homes? 700 maybe? 760. 760? Mm -hmm. What about the population of those other towns? I, I'm just curious. What, what's I don't think there's as good as Conway. Conway. I don't think there's as big as Conway. Okay. Not Buckland's not. Alice? Yeah, they're they're uh, they're obliged to provide ninety six percent coverage. Yeah, no, I know, I know. That's and, and we're getting. And that's that's determined between the state and Congress. Yeah, that's who's funding this. But the, so you're saying there is a, a contract or agreement in place between the state and Comcast that guarantees by the end of two thousand eighteen. So when they say by the end of two thousand eighteen, does that mean? The construction is done, or that people will actually have service by the that end. That means of everything is done down to the service level, and they move that schedule. So, but, uh, I think the key to you people will be is when Comcast calls you and said, "Are you interested in signing up for our service?" That means they must be getting real close to. Can you well, have people in town got those calls? Do you know people in this area? The Comcast representatives go out to them. I mean, they're not going to just blow down the street and hook it up to your house. You may say, no, I don't want it. You know what I mean? So no, no, I'm asking that, about where your the, the roads that Bob Armstrong was referring to that where the construction is done. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if Com Comcast has already been in touch with those homes. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So you don't really know how the process unfolds? Not really. We have no information about that. All we know is that they said they would be finished by the end of this year. That's what we know. So back to the four homes that are not going to be slated to be covered, is there a way that the town could use some stabilization funds to help those houses get funded? Is that something? At, at this point, we're not talking about that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Why not? Because it's not an issue right now. It might be an issue for the four homes, but <laughs> yeah, not a town issue. This is this is all private. No, no, I understand that, but I'm and I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer I'm going to get. But it, did Comcast um, give some type of cost that it would be to wire those four homes we're, as well? We're, we're getting off the point here. No, it's point, a question, no, no, John. No, the point is right now, Comcast said by the end of this year we'll have everyone wired who is going to be wired. Right. That's it. That, but that's not the question I asked. Well, I was just that, wondering that's all, if that's all we're going to talk about now. We, we don't know what Comcast plans are. This is a citizen concern. We, we, you know we, what? We, we, don't, we don't have any information okay, about then just say what that, it would Joel. cost. And all you have to do is say that. that. We got we don't know everybody what wired doing. except four homes. That's all you have to say. That's what we're concerned about. It was about. a pretty straightforward question. You yeah. know? Rather than say, sorry, John, you're a taxpayer in town. Your question doesn't mean diddly. Because that's, that's what you not, say no, to no, me, John. No, that's, that's not exactly what I said, John. You just said. That's not what I said. It is, but that's okay. It's not our concern right now. Okay. Okay, fine. it's not your concern. So those four homes in town that are paying taxes, okay, they're probably John, electing John, you guys. This is not an issue right now. What I'm telling you, John, is that by the end of this year, <clears throat> we're going to have every home in Conway wired except four homes. Okay. You okay? hope by the end of this year. You've been saying that's, that earlier. That's, that's what Comcast. That's what Comcast said to us. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that's all we can tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's kind of disheartening that you folks, you know, are, you know, the head of Conway's government and you really don't know very much. This is Bob. not a Conway project. This is a Comcast project with the state. It's not our project. Okay? We're not involved with this except as a conveyor of information. That's all we're involved with here. We're not running the show here. Okay. I don't think that any of us suggested you were. Bob Armstrong, who is now also a selectman. Our selectman, Bob Armstrong, who has been fighting uh, on the broadband committee now for 12 years to get houses done, has done a great job with this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And he's got every house wired in this town except four houses. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's where it stands. Mm -hmm. All right? It was originally going to be something like 20 that were not going to be wired. Mm -hmm. Well, we would just like him to be a little more specific in the information that he gives us, and we would like him to reply to all inquiries that he gets from all of us, because he seems to be kind of 
casual about it. No, he's not. Day. Bob is not casual about this. He is very concerned about this. He has done a tremendous amount of work in the last 12 years to get this done. Okay? He is not casual at all. My guess probably would be, uh, Bob, that he probably can't give you any more information right yet because he probably hasn't got it. Other than the, the, that he does know they're in town and they're starting to do the work. Maybe and that's tremendous try because... a little bit harder to ask some more specific questions of his Comcast. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I, the, what, 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 the kind of schedule that you're kind of leading to, I don't think he could, I don't think they would even give him that schedule. Well, just us coming oh here, God. I'm so much more you? enlightened huh? that that's, you've given us they way more it. information than Bob's ever given us, to tell you the truth right now. Mm -hmm. So that's just all we're asking. Okay. Just, that's all. But thank you. I really appreciate your being honest in what you know. And, okay. You know. Well, we don't know a lot, but I, but I mean, because... But we, I've learned more tonight than I have with my reply. I, I was ecstatic when Bob came back to us a few months ago and told us that Conway was going to be one of the first towns here in Western Mass mm -hmm. to be completely worried, all, except for four homes that was like... Mm -hmm. And we're at the top of the list to start off because I don't know how that could pull off. I don't want to know, I and mean, I just think it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it hasn't been pulled off yet. It's not pulled off until it's done. But thank you guys for your time. Thanks for coming. Have a good evening. Talk to Gil about that. Say again. Talk to Gil about that. Okay. <laughs> they really. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. The town. Have a good night. Oh, Gil. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Any old business? Uh, well, actually, the uh, highway garage and fire pumper should both be on under old, old business, but uh, they're not. Okay. So, okay. Uh, new business, uh, highway garage committee. Uh, I have an update. Uh, I did hear from two members of the former committee that they were willing to be on. Um, Tom, and I have an email out to Tom McCarthy. Um, uh, Tom Shaw has gotten a job, I believe, in Boston and may, in fact, not uh, be a Conway resident for yeah, he's much got a longer. Tell market. Oh, he's really? Uh, okay. Tom, Kenny told me this morning he's moving to Boston, right? So, as soon as the house is sold. Um, yeah, uh, it'd be great to have somebody to, uh, to try to fill those shoes. I, I'm not sure nobody can really fill those shoes because he would. I, he was well, he had tremendous, manager. tremendous construction experience. I, I might have somebody that you might be interested in. I'll, I'll mention to you after the meeting. So, that you might want to talk with. We're certainly interested in anybody who uh, who might want to serve. Okay, good. All right. Do we have Do we have anybody that we are thinking of now, in terms of uh, the committee, or do you um, want to talk about that at all? Uh, Ken is a, is a tentative yes. Okay. Um, and uh, um, uh, the, you might have uh, known the committee member uh, earlier, Tom Wyatt Hill is now, uh, right. Liv Wyatt, and um, is been. interested in being on an architect. Oh, Tom Hill, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. on the, yeah. Yeah. on the road. Yeah. Tom Hill, right. Yeah. yeah. He's an architect. Now Liv Wyatt. Well, She's an architect. His wife? Tom's okay. changed. Any, so. any, um, oh. okay. any other, any others? Uh, I don't know of any offhand okay. at this point. That's great. Okay. Uh, again, I have an email out to Tom McCarthy. I haven't heard from him yet. I don't know uh, his whole history with the committee. I know he wasn't actually on when I was on, but I know he had been on. Right, right, okay. All right, next item on the agenda is the request from the highway department regarding the fire pumper. We're going to table that for tonight. Uh, next item is uh, appointments. The Board of Registrars um, for a term ending June 30th, 2020. It's a three-year term for Lorraine Boyden and Ina Barton. They have been members of, of the, the Board of Registrars for a while. I'll make a motion that we appoint both of them to the board for a term ending June 30th, 2020. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. And there's, when you get to the next one, John, there's, there's one more addition. I've, I've 
I don't know how I passed over when I when I gave uh, Tom secretary the name, but I did. So we'll have to add one more to it. Okay. I'm sorry. Who's that? Josiah Boyden. <sighs> Fine, Boyden's boy. Okay, so we have a junior firefighters for term ending uh, June 30th, 2018. We have Josiah Boyden. We have Alexis Dean, Dakota Dean, Brooke Romanowitz, Romanowitz, um, Olivia Romanowitz, Olivia Vesselio, Michael O'Connell, Fisher Talbert Hill, and Trevor Bodette. How old do the junior fighters have? Okay, fighters they're 14 have to 14 18. 14 to 18. You okay. might be interested to know that in, oh, I think it's end of this month, in July, that Alexa Dean and Dakota Dean are twins. And they're going to be turning to regular firefighters as soon as they turn 18. And I, think it's, I think it's either the end of July or the end of August they turn 18. That's Alexis that I know. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So they will be full time firefighters, they won't be juniors after that. Okay, great. And uh, don't forget to put in Josiah Boyden too. You getting some good interest in this program? Uh, amazing. Good. I mean, good. Other towns are lucky they can get one or two, and we've had, we've capped it at ten, and we got nine. So uh, that's great. Okay. And uh, it's been, believe it or not, probably sixty to seventy percent of our force now is juniors that came up through the ranks over the years. Oh, so that's, that's good. It's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to have the the, uh, the certificates for them next time, Tom. Uh, yes, actually, we have the forms um, for everybody but Josiah in there. Um, no, we don't. No, we don't. Oh, we don't. All right. We will have the forms as soon as we can then. Okay. I'll make a motion that we um, appoint all of these junior firefighters for term ending June thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance, Tom? Nothing from me. Okay. Uh, you have your update, Tom? Yeah. Just a few items, because I was on vacation for a week. Really? You get vacation? <laughs> I didn't know we gave him vacation. Well, <laughs> we just chained him in the basement. I sneak it in. All right. Uh, there was a great kickoff meeting with the Center for Human Centered Design on July 29th. That's for the uh, uh, Mass Office on Disability grant for a self evaluation and transition plan. Uh, two consultants came to introduce themselves and do a physical survey. Uh, and Tom McCarthy, Rusty Blossom, Ron Sweet, and I were there as well, representing the town team. And we should have a report close to the end of the month. Nice. Maybe Good. maybe early August. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, but that's okay. We we got our invoice. We got it into the state. It was a incredibly hectic rush <laughs> that last nice. that last week in June. Good. Uh, I've also worked with. Uh, Linda Dunlavy to do some editing work on the Community Compact IT Best Practices document produced by Northeast IT. Uh, that should be ready by the time the state needs it. So Now, for anybody who doesn't know who Linda Dunlavy is, she is the executive director of the FERCOC. Okay. Yeah, we've been working pretty, pretty closely on this particular project because the, the FERCOG is involved. Um, in a much more detailed way with this one than the financial practices uh, document, the long-term financial planning. Um, there will be perk testing for the Rose property tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Ron Sweet will be digging, and Joe Strugowski has a crate container that will hold 200-plus gallons of water for the perk tests. They need uh, an extra-large um, water for the... It would be for obviously a, a large number of people. Right. Uh, and the planning board and I are continuing to look at an economic development survey developed by the FERCOG under their direct local technical assistance grant. And we hope to get a fairly fine-grained picture of current local business. Uh, this includes everybody in home-based businesses. That's uh, it's a largely unknown picture to us, even though everyone's supposed to register with Ginny as the town clerk. Uh, there is nowhere near 
com full compliance with that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and we hope to uh, understand the needs and desires of primarily residents for the potential for business development in Conway, mm -hmm. both as consumers and as businesses. Okay. Good. Thank you, Tom. Concerns of the selectmen? Bob, you have any concerns? No, I got none, John. No concerns? No. I have great. no concerns either. We don't have any mail, don't have any announcements. Our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, July 24th here in the town offices. Um, yes. Do I have um, any other business to come before the board? Okay, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.